Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Banner Saga. We have just started Chapter 7. Finally, you, you arrive at Borisgar, where the walls stretch for miles in both directions and are littered with the bodies of Dredge, Varl, and men. Excuse the mess! shouts a voice from above the gates. Yeah, as long as you got food, I'll excuse it. Looking up, you sp spy a striking Varl, his face wreathed with matted black hair. Movement at the gate catches your eye. Dredger's still banging on, on the gate doors without luck. Let us in, you shout. Sigbjorn pushes past. <clears throat> I won't be hearing the end of this for a while, he says before yelling. Open up, Bulwark! They dug me out of Reynavik! You hear a laugh echoing on the wind as the doors creak. A dozen armed men led by the massive Varl make quick work of the dredge and usher you into the city. It may be interesting to know that they brought a mender. You didn't go to get a mender. Where is the mead? That is quite a striking varl. He's got a polar bear cloak. I see two axes. Sigbjorn shrugs apologetically. I guess a mender will do. Either we've got a chance now or we're completely screwed. I'm Rook. We've come a long ways. Some as far as Skogger. Are you in charge here? In charge of the governor, I suppose. Listen, if you have something to tell him, say it now. Otherwise, you're on your own. I don't care where you go, but stirring up trouble is probably the only reason you'll see me again. It won't be to talk. Mender, come along. We're going to see the governor. Bulwark and Sigbjorn leave with Ivand, who goes willingly, signaling that he's fine. Fane, this is just like Frostfeller all over again. This is nothing like Frostfeller. The one in Bearskin is probably l leading the Ravens. Ravens? Is that good or bad? Depends on who they're working for. Hopefully it really is the governor and not someone trying to strong-arm their way into his seat. I guess we wait for Ivan to tell us, if he comes back. I'm not worried about Ivan. I'm worried about the army of refugees we brought don't belong here. You're probably right. Nobody ever uttered a nice thing about Borsgard. So what now? We ought to go to the docks to see what our options are, in case we need to leave quickly. Did you notice the city guards when we came in? What guards? I have a feeling the ravens are all they've got left. Something serious went down. And when Bellower gets here, he's going to walk right through this place without even breaking his stride. Let's keep that to ourselves for now. So, the docks. But first, food, please! Uh, market, let's see... Well, let's go check out the map and see what they have to s what it has to say about Boar's Garden. I don't think I took a look at it. The Boar's Garden. An aging and senile mess of a city that can't remember when it wants to sell you something or steal everything you've got. While Orm's Dollar grew early into an important hub of trade, its twin city, Borsgard, became the place to buy things nobody else was willing to hawk. It's greatly supported by the potent items harvested in Reynavik and Tistel, and plagued by huge disparities between the extremely rich and the suffering poor. Uh, Orm's Dollar is there, which I suppose might be our next place to visit. I am definitely getting the uh, impression that we are eventually going to be uh, getting to Arborang. <coughs> Ormsdollar. As Strom led some of the first men east, Ormsdollar was one of the most important places they settled, nestled in the crook where the Ormsa uh, River splits. If Borsgard and Ormsdollar were twins, Ormsdollar would be the righteous brother trying to keep his evil twin from hurting everyone else. There's a couple cities over here, towns over here. <coughs> Eros. The odd combination of lake on the river within a lake is still proved to be a good location for fishing and farming, and the productivity of Eros worked well in tandem with the trade triangle it would form with Boar's Garden Orm's Dollar. It would probably be a good place to go. Honestly, I mean... If the dredge are moving... I mean, honestly, I don't know why the dredge would really come here. Uh, it seems like they take this road, but... Oh. 
Edeltorp. A small town founded by, by a man named Edel who is determined to use the peat found along the edges of the Swart Bog to fashion iron weapons for Borsgard and Ormstaller. Others eventually joined Edel and its weapons started finding an eager market. Interesting. Alrighty. I think we're done there. <coughs> I should probably go get something to drink after this episode. Kind of need it. Market! Uh, one renowned gets one. Seriously? I don't think I can... That's, that's like... I'm not sure that that's worth it. So we need six supplies for one day. Alright, well... Yeah, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna have to hope that we get something uh, here. Let's see... I think we've looked at that one. Strength attack... Uh, attacks never deflected, plus 10%. Chance two times strength damage, obsidian powder, knockback on strength attacks of four, and Jarl's seal. I don't think we've seen this one. I think we've seen the other ones. A stamp, the stamp symbolizing a chief's will, passed down from father to son, and kender to kender. One will per turn. That's actually not too bad. That would be a pretty good one for uh, Ivan. But I can't afford it. Yeah, I really can't afford it. Uh, hopefully, cigar hole. Oh, I should probably. Well, nah, I'm gonna have to hope that we get someone back. Actually, that's a good question. Did he take that item that he had? He took that item that I gave him. I hope he comes back. Let's go to the docks. When you get to the docks, your heart sinks. Not a long ship to be seen, aside from wrecks. Bodies float in the water. Buildings are trashed and boarded up. What happened here? Murmurs Alent. They're all gone, says Ivan, approaching alone. I see you had the same thought as me. Ivan, you're okay. I'm fine. It wasn't a lie. The governor is here. He's in hiding. Why? Since the dredge started appearing, anyone with a ship and half a wit left long ago. People can't leave by foot. Food is scarce. The markets are bare. Borsgard is a fire kick waiting for someone to tip it over. So the governor is paying the ravens to protect him against his own people. And keep the peace, so to speak. It's more like a massacre any time there's a hint of an uprising. Where does that leave us? I promised them the Mender's protection in Arborang. I don't think he's very popular there. They're going to start tearing this place down to build new ships. We can ride the Ormsa River all the way to the capital. Leaving another perfectly good city behind. How long will it take to build new ships? Hold on, what happens to the people living in Borsgard? It's the best I could do, Alette. He thought it could take as long as a month. You don't usually make ships out of scrap lumber. As soon as people figure out what's going on, there's going to be riots in the streets. A month? Why bother? Bellower will be here within the week, if not sooner. I'm open to suggestions. Gods be damned, is there no end to this? Apparently not. Ivor roars in frustration, leaving you standing by the docks. Alette gives you a worried look before chasing after him. Ivan. What do we do about Bellower? Ivan says nothing for a moment. I don't know. Thanks. <sighs> well, let's go talk to Ivor. You find Ivor standing on the city walls, overlooking the fields outside. Dredge are keeping their distance, but continue to gather. I'm okay, Rook. Ivor cuts you off before you can say anything. You know he's been through worse. Y yeah, uh, yeah. Just feels like someone should cut us a break every now and then. If we want to be standing a month from now, we're going to have to be prepared. What did you have in mind? 
First off, our clansmen need a place to stay. We'll get torn to pieces out in the streets. I'll keep an eye on the dredge up here. If they break through the walls, we're done for, so we'll have to keep them back. Could always use a hand with that. We need to know who's controlling what and make sure we get our cut. Food's going to become scarce. And when they start building those ships, we're going to have to keep people away. What a damn mess. I'll do what I can. Ah! I, I, I wanted to talk about the other things, damn it! Ivor explains, I'm leading attacks with Ivan every time the dredge get too close to the gates. Listen, we're going to lose fighters and Varl every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens if nobody is manning this wall. We can always use help. Uh, you consider what to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will, uh, tasks will likely take a full day. Meaning that we'll probably lose people, and since we're out of supplies, um... Put Krummer in charge of leading the warriors. Krummer, you shout, calling around the war leader. This is your expertise. Are you willing? Krummer is more than happy to switch off leading the charge, uh, giving Ivor a break between fights. He spends the rest of the day showing you complex war strategies to reduce losses. And I lost some people already. Because we're out of food! Minus three fighters. Minus one Varl. Minus ten. Oh. Oh. Jeez. We are not going to last very long. Ivor points out the dredge along the wall. There's a lot more of them. They're getting braver, he says. We lost a fair number of fighters since yesterday. We could always use your help if there's nobody left to defend the walls. I have to find a source for supplies. I checked around, Oddleif tells you, and nobody has food or they won't part with it for a fair price. And our medicine's been, medicine has been gone for days. They're either gouging the prices or it's pla just plain gone. She doesn't say it, but you can tell this is going to be a serious problem. Um, Track down the ravens and see what they know. Ah. You find the massive leader of the ravens along the docks, where they're doing their best to keep a growing number of people in check while the boats begin are being constructed. You question him about food supplies. You should have brought your own, he says. I can't go giving it out to every person in Borisgard. I'd kill every last bastard in the city for some good meat, though. This place has been dry for weeks. I assume if I did that, then, uh... Sigbjorn will probably get his butt kicked. Um... Scour the streets for anyone selling instead. Oddlife joins you as you walk up and down each street in Borisgard looking for supplies. All you find are empty stalls or outrageous prices well beyond your means, with little to offer in the first place. This entire city can't be out of food, Oddlife barks, but you come away empty-handed and more worried than before. God damn it. 24 fighters, 20 Varl! Yeah... This is bad, says Ivan, as Ivor points across the battlefield. Aside from the fact that we're up to our necks and uh, necks and aside from the fact that we're up to our necks and dredge, a stone singer has showed up. We've been losing warriors left and right. If we don't deal with it, this wall will come down at the end of the day. Rook, says Oddleif, approaching. Someone handed me a note this morning. She shows you a slip of paper marking a back street, probably from some of those places we visited yes <clears throat> yesterday. Maybe some misplaced ambush, too, though I can't imagine what they think we have. If you want to check it out, let me know. Dad, there's a riot at the docks, Alette runs up to you out of breath. They're trying to smash up the boats. When you calm her down, she says the ravens are, are there, but she's worried that things could get out of hand. Ha ha ha! Now we're kind of screwed either way. Uh, let's join Ivor in defending the walls. That stone singer is going to wreak havoc on us if we don't take care of it, Ivor tells you. This will be a rough fight, but we've got to take it down. You ready? You prepare yourself. Uh, and Sigbjorn is not with us. Uh, 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 um, let's go ahead and take a let. I think we'll need her uh, against the stone singer. That would be beneficial. What else do we have? 
<laughs> minus two fighter. Minus two Varl. And he's all the way back behind everyone. Alright, they both have that Kindle attack. Nineteen eleven. All right, I think Rook is going to be best on this side. Uh, in fact, let's actually put him a little. Well, no, I can't. I can't reposition them. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and just battering ram this guy back. Nice. And of course that thing is running. Let's get up really close to you. Just do the four damage, let you run. And do a little bit of damage to that guy and <laughs> make him run. Nice. What are you doing? One damage. Okay, I can deal with that. Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's stay behind Ivor. Nice. Ow. Less than good. Uh, let's see. What is your range with bird of prey? I wish I could turn on a grid. Let's see. Quite close enough. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get close enough. All right. I'm just going to do the one because I want to save a little bit for uh, Burn of Prey. Ugh, that guy is going to be moving way too soon. Red Needle might be a really good thing to use. Let's see, what is the range on that? Two, three, four, five. All right, so. Ah, I'd need to get pretty close. Could I get them there? I could. Let's see, what was, uh... Well, units between the... Do, 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 do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's... gonna be all that useful right now. Do that for now. Might save that for movement. Krimer is gonna take quite a bit of damage. I suppose I could go up there and kill that guy. Uh, let's see, 11. I could kill that guy, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. 
As long as he doesn't deflect. Yes. Cause I gotta run. Okay. Uh. So he's boosted all of their strength. Cannot get up close enough to them. So, but get here. I wonder why that guy didn't run. Ow. Ho ho ho. Enemies are diseased on strike. I don't really want to, uh... Attack that guy with, uh, um... Echol, then. Let's go run up here and uh, attack this guy, then. In that case. Seven damage? Sure. Take that. Not appreciating that, buddy. Not appreciating that. Appreciating that at all. Six armor day break. Do that. Ow. Uh, he is uh, not going to be doing so hot. Can you? Oh, just can't. Dang it. All right, well, we'll see if that guy moves. Yep, there goes Krummer. Krummer is uh, not doing so hot. <laughs> I'll put a let in front. Should have moved up one more. I was not paying attention. Oh crap. Yeah. All right, that guy is moving again. Eleven. Come close to taking you out. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and take this guy out with that though. Turn these on. Uh, Echol's not doing too bad, actually. Kind of surprised. Let's see. Can I? I cannot get close enough. Alright, so we'll go after these guys. Break your armor. Cause you to run. Ooh, Echo is almost dead. I'll use this for her bird of prey if necessary. Ow, we got more strength. Has that affected him now? I think it might have. Bonus damage to targets who have lost armor if the archer has not moved. I'll do that. Take this guy out with a nice solid hit. Ow. And now he's diseased. Fantastic. You know, Mark Prey. Should get both of them, and he goes down. Nice. There we go. 
Alright, so we could've... we probably should've used a lot more will, but... I wish willpower would, like, get... That, that actually would be a good mechanic if that got converted into renown, simply because it would give you an incentive to hold it. But, oh well, not much you can do about it. Oh, look, there's there's a stone singer there, there's more dredge. This is not going to go well. Uh, let's take a look at our heroes. Not enough to go up another level, not that I plan to... Could promote her, actually. But... Oh, man. I need food. I could get three days' worth, I suppose. That would leave me with eight. Well, yeah, let's do that. And you know what? Time's almost up. I think we'll go ahead and call this an episode. And uh, we'll see how bad it gets in the next one. See you next time.